Hello once again guys, I hope you're good and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be going through the top 20 bargain strikers in FIFA 17 career mode. Just to let you know guys, players who aren't available to purchase in the first season will not be featured in these lists. Why won't they? Well because their current clubs simply won't allow them to leave and therefore they are not included in the top 20. Another thing to keep in mind is that the game is updated a lot through the year, so some prices, wages and potentials may be altered. But right now, and whenever you play a career mode on the default squad setting, these will be the top 20. So let's get straight into the list. So we begin with Ahmed Hassan of SC Braga. This 23 year old Egyptian is the first FIFA 17 bargain to appear on my channel and he does look like a good little catch. 6 foot 3, 76 rated, 84 strength, decent heading stats, 81 finishing and 79 penalties. He's already a very well made goal scoring machine but train him up and he'll get past that 81 potential. If you want him, pick him up from the Portuguese side for 11 million and 14 thousand a week. And up next is a Frenchman. Alassane player, another already well moulded option. Player is a 23 year old little beast. He's 5 foot 11, right footed, decent shot power, sprint speed, volleys and finishing, as well as another 13 light green stats to go on top of that. For a lower tier Premier League side, he looks like a very, very solid option for just 15 million and 29,000 a week. By the way, do you guys love the fact that EA added in more random number wages? I love that little addition. In at 18th is Raul Jimenez of Benfica. The Mexican forward is very close to his prime at 25 years old, but that certainly isn't a bad thing. At 6 foot 3 with a very complete set of stats, a 79 overall and 82 potential, this guy will surely lead the line for anyone who purchases him. I'll definitely be trying him out. That and when you pick him up for a reasonable price of 19 million, and a stupidly low wage of 17,000 a week makes his signature that much better. Our next player is another French guy, Jan Caramo. Our first player of today that hasn't surpassed the 70 overall mark in the first season. But when you're looking for a bargain, you have to accept this. 18 years old, 6 foot 1, great pace to build around and some other pretty well rounded stats for a youngster. He can grow to become an 81 rated player. For 1.8 million and 7,600 a week, that's value right there. 16th is a Swede. It's not Zlatan, it's Jean Gudetti, a sell to Vigo. We've got another player who's above a 75 overall. This didn't really used to happen much on FIFA 16, but maybe it's a common thing for FIFA 17. We'll have to see. Anyway, Gudetti's 24 years old, 6 foot 1, 85 shot power. 82 strength, 82 ball control, 81 penalties, 80 long shots and 82 potential. Seems like an amazing option to me. Want to try him? Well that'll be 10.5 million and 21.5 thousand a week. Coming in now is our first Argentinian of the day. It's Luca Alerio of River Plate. 23 years old, 5 foot 10, 90 jumping. So you know what tactic to use when you have this guy up front right? 77 overall, 83 potential, great attacking positioning, finishing, strength and ball control. Just another well prepared goal scorer at your disposal. You can steal him away from his homeland for 15.5 million and just 20 grand a week. Next up is the Manchester City youngster who made it into the thumbnail. It's Thierry Ambrose, 19 years old, French, 5 foot 10, right footed, great pace, just 66 rated but with a potential of 82. That pretty much sums up this upcoming teenager. He'd definitely suit a championship squad rotation role. If you've got it, 1.7 million and 14.5 thousand a week on wages, why not pick him up? In at 13th is a Paraguayan. His name's Walter and his second name's Gonzalez. 21 years of age, 6 foot 1 and another well moulded goal machine. Pretty well rounded for his 73 overall. 81 jumping, 78 shot power, 73 strength, 73 finishing, yeah not a bad option at all. Yeah you know he could do with some training but for an 81 potential at 6.5 million and 7,100 a week, good price. And our next player in the list is Corentin Dejon of Monaco, another Frenchman, 21 years old, small at 5 foot 7 but extremely agile. 
82 acceleration, 81 sprint speed, 77 finishing, and overall a 72 and a potential of 84. That's fantastic. And his price, you ask? Well, 5 million and 23,000 a week. Just go get him. And now to La Liga, and specifically in Espanol, is a striker under the name of Gerard Moreno. He's 24 years old, 5 foot 10, left footed, 77 rated, 8 stats of light green and just 2 at dark green. Well, he can't be up here for no reason. Oh, it's his ridiculously low wage and 83 potential. Still, he looks like he could do a job for a lower tier team. For 14 million and 25,500 a week, why not give him a try? Halfway through sits a Canadian. That's a rare nationality in these countdowns. So a big welcome to Kyle Larin of Orlando City. 21 years old, six foot two, left footed, 72 rated, 81 potential, 83 shot power, 81 strength. That's his highlights. Have you been sold yet? Well, maybe his price will do that for you. Five million and less than 5,000 a week for this youngster. Why not add him to the squad? Next in the top half is one of my recommendations from last year and he's back again, just as pacey as ever, it's Moses Simon of Ghent. 93 agility, 91 acceleration, 91 sprint speed, 91 balance and 88 jumping and 82 potential. This guy is literally the young MNEK. I'm pretty sure I said something similar to that last year, but you can understand why I said that. 21 years old, very small though at 5'6", and just a great little player. If you were looking for that Nigerian Marcus Rashford, look no more because for 8 million and 12,500 a week, you can have it. And we come on to another pretty damn quick centre forward, it's Musa Kanate. 89 sprint speed, 87 acceleration, yeah he's not quite as fast as Moses, but he is much taller at 6 foot, possesses a potential of 82 and with better strength as well. I mean, the best thing to do would be to buy both, right? That way they can never be used against you. If you want Kanate, he's going to cost you 6.5 million and 16.5 thousand a week. Sitting in the seventh position is an actual proper youngster that you probably need to train. Rafa Mia of Valencia. 18 years old, already 6 foot 2, 71 heading accuracy and some other not so great stats. He's one that will need a bit of your personal attention to bring up to that 81 potential. But for 850k and 3000 a week, maybe you don't mind that. Sixth is another guy that will need some training. Florian Ai. 19 years old, 6 foot tall, 64 rated, 76 acceleration, 75 sprint speed, 73 strength and 71 agility. He has a good base to build his stats around and he might be perfect for a League 1 team if you can afford the 1.2 million transfer fee and his 1.5 grand a week wages. Just behind the top four is Sebastian Haller. You won't need to train this guy up too much because he's a very nice looking 77 overall at 22 years old. He's also six foot three with 91 strength. And French, yeah, another French guy. 86 penalties, even though that doesn't matter too much because we've all got to get used to the new penalty system. 80 jumping, 79 finishing and 82 potential. Yes, he's like perfect for a mid-table Premier League side. And with a price of 14.5 million and 12,500 a week, his price was also made for a mid-table Premier League side. Only just missing out on a medal today is Tammy Abraham. Honestly, get this guy before EA update the game. Because he is doing extremely well at Bristol City and because of that, EA will likely update the game to make him a Chelsea loanee. Right now, according to the game, he's a Bristol City player who can be bought in the first season. But that won't last long. 18 years old, 69 rated. <laughs> 6 foot 3, great physical stats and with a potential of 85. So don't let that 2.9 million and 15,500 a week scare you off because this guy is going to be phenomenal. Coming in third is the FC Porto man, Andre Silva. 20 years old, 6 foot 1, 85 stamina, 84 jumping, 77 strength, good pace, reactions, agility and aggression and only rated at 74. That's honestly unbelievable for his range of stats. But not only that, he's got an 86 potential, 7 million, 13.5 thousand a week. Just do what you gotta do. 
And in second is a Colombian. No, it's not Falcao, it's Harold Preciado. A new name for me, but looks like a great little find. 22 years old, 6 foot tall, 75 rated, 84 jumping, 83 agility, 77 finishing, solid pace, 77 shot power. Yeah, looks like a player for the shortlist. But the main reason he's this high up is of course his wages, 8.5 million. But to find a player who's 75 rated on less than 5 figures a week is about as common as finding Mewtwo in Pokemon Go. It just doesn't happen. But receiving the gold medal for this top 20 countdown is... I'm sure you guys are aware of this player now. He's a new boy from Ajax, Casper Dolberg. 18 years old, 68 rated, 6 foot 1, 76 shot power, 73 jumping, 72 strength. But yeah, it does need a good couple of sessions on the training field to reach his ultimate form of 85. Not only that, but you could pick up this future high class player for an astounding fee of 2.6 million and 5,300 a week. And that's the top 20 strikers for you guys to check out. I know I mentioned it earlier, but I do love the new more random wages. It just adds a little more character to the game. I'm very excited to get lots and lots of content out to you guys. And please leave any suggestions of videos in the comments below. But anyway, if you like the video, be sure to let me know by pressing that like button. Stay subscribed for plenty of top 10s, 20s, 25s and other career mode videos. And I'm Brace for Impact and thanks for watching.